Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Yes, it is the day, it is the week, it is the month, it is the year that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. As I sit here, I am reflecting on the year 2019. Man, it has been a challenging year, but indeed it has been a blessed year. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. I'm thinking about what some of the things that I have gone through, some of the hurdles, the struggles, the challenges, um, but how the Lord has brought me over, how the Lord has brought you over when you think about what could have happened, what happened, what did not happen, but you know that it could have been so much different. You have to just lift your hands, raise your head up, look to the hills where your help came from and, 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 and will always come from and just said, blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to let you know that there are some things that God has blessed me with, but most of all, I am so grateful for life. I'm so grateful that God kept me. So many times we could have let go. When it became so hard, the process seems, seemed unbearable. Oh my God, sometimes it was so dark. But yet in the late night hours, in the midnight hours, in the deep part of the process, God showed himself strong in our circumstances and in our lives. And for that, we ought to be grateful because we serve a God that, you know, is not slack concerning his promises and, and he says he will not leave or forsake us, then that he will do. Amen. Amen. Sometimes when it seems all hope um, was, was out of the blue and, and things just was in disarray and chaotic, that's when God stepped in and he showed his, him, himself strong in our lives. Amen. And he came through for us. So I'm very grateful for life. I'm grateful for health. Amen. I had some doctor's appointments. I'm sure you did too. But you are still alive and you can move, you can breathe, you can have your being, your fa you have your family, you have a roof over your head, you have a job, you have pe family, people you can talk to. It's not all that bad. Amen. God has been wonderful. He has been faithful. Amen. Concerning his promises. And yes, there are some things that you thought that you, you, you should have accomplished. Um, in 2019 and it has not yet come to fruition. I don't want you to question God. He is a God that he is an on-time God. Amen. It may not, he may not come when you want him, but trust me, he's an on-time God. So according to the word of God, how he, he's faithful and he can do absolutely exceedingly above all that we can ask or we can think of. I want you to continue building your faith and putting your trust in Jehovah God. Amen. Because he will come through when you least expect it. Maybe at that particular time when you wanted that prayer answered, it was not the right time for you. Because remember, we serve a God that is all knowing. Amen. He knows the end at the beginning. Amen. He is the alpha. He is the omega. He is the beginning and the ending. He is the author and he's the, the finish of your faith and my faith. And so because he knows the plan that he has for us, plans to prosper us, amen, and to give us an expected end. He's already orchestrating it all for our good, amen. According to Romans 8 verse 28, all things work together for our good for them, amen, for them that love God and for them that are called according to his purpose. So I just want to um, implore you and encourage you to stay in the palm of the hands of God. Stay in his hands. Stay in line with the word of God over your life. Do not give up. Do not give in. The devil is a liar. Don't allow the devil to come and play tricks on your mind and tell you that God is not going to do it for you or, or this ain't for you when God had already promised 
first and said that he was going to supply your needs. Hallelujah. According to his, his, his mercies and his loving kindness and, and according to his riches. Amen. He promised it to you and he will fulfill it. So keep holding on to him as we go into 2020, as we go into a new decade. I pray that um, the abundance of God will be overwhelming to you because you have been faithful and you continue to trust in the plans of God for your life. Because you know what? It could have been worse. Amen. There's some things that ha that didn't happen. There's some things that didn't happen, but there's some things that did happen because he kept our mind. He kept our mind intact. So many times we could have lost our mind, but God kept us so we would not let go. Let me encourage you to hold on to God's extended arms. Amen. He's our strength. He's our refuge. He's our fortress. Oh my God, so many times the, the battle got so hard and, and it became really challenging, but we serve a God that is well able. Amen. He's able. And if we just continue to trust him, amen, and build upon that trust in our faith as we go into a new season, a new decade in our lives, just continue trusting that God is always there for you. Continue to pray and yield yourself to him. Amen. Dedicate time with him and, and develop that relationship with him that when he speaks, amen, you are able to discern the voice of the Lord. And when he says go, you better get up and move. Amen. And when he says be still and know that I am God, go ahead and be still and just bless him. Bless him and praise him and worship him even in through the hard times, through the difficult times. Let me tell you, one of the most important things you can do is when you're going through that hard process, through that dark time, when you pray and God will strengthen you. But don't give up. Don't just be happy when it's all good and when it's bad, it feels like all hope is gone because God is always there for us. God bless you. And I just want to thank you again for just being with me 2019. God is going to do a new thing. I decree and I declare a blessing over your life, over your mind, your body, and your spirit. I pray that you will continue to be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, a lender and not a borrow. I pray that what comes into your bosom is more than enough for you to give to your neighbors, for those who are without. I pray that you'll be able to go out and spread the gospel through your lifestyle, through your giving, through your loving, and through your sharing, so that others, your neighbors, and your family members can know who God is and and come to learn about him and trust him and love on him. Oh my God, I just want to bless you all and your family. Continue to support. Um, uh, there are great things up ahead for me and for you. And we will be sharing that together in this 2020 season. Don't lose hope. Do not give up. Do not give in. Keep trusting in God's promise and plan for your life. I love you with the love of the Lord. On behalf of my family, we just want to wish you a prosperous new year. God bless you. Bye.